Hi there, it's Karen Fitting with Photos Kept Alive, and I wanted to do a quick video for you on Artisan 5 and how you can work with masks. Masks have become very popular in digital scrapbooking, and prior to Artisan 5, I found them really hard to work with. I actually avoided them. Now, I love them. So I'm going to show you real quick how we can use them. I'm on a blank page. You can do this on any of your scrapbook layouts. First thing I like to do is add my photo to the page, and I just go ahead and go to the Photos panel on the right side, use the pull down arrow, and add photo to page in new frame. And I'm really doing that because I don't have any photo drop points on this page. With the photo selected, I move over to the left and use the pull down there and choose Effects. And I'm going to edit my effects. Now I'll do a lot more videos on these effects. I've been using them quite a bit. They're really fun to explore. And really, I encourage you to explore because you really can't break it playing here. We always have the undo button. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a mask layer. And my panel on the right is where I do that work. And I can choose my mask. I'm going to click here on the pull down and choose. I have masks stored in a folder on my computer. So here are the different masks I have stored. And I'm just going to go ahead and play with this mask here and open it. And we'll get a menu here. So here's the original mask and how it looks. And I can change some of the coloring. Although I have to admit, I haven't been very successful with the red, green, or blue, or even the inverting. I think inverting would be fun to play with, with um, a variety of masks. I always come in here and click around. But I end up always going right back to the alpha. Notice how the inversion works with the alpha, but I'm going to leave it uninverted. I'm just going to use it as it was meant to be used and click OK. And so now you'll see the mask on my picture. Now what's great with Artisan 5 is when I click on this, I have all of my photo tools. So I can, uh, first I have to finish my activity on the right. So clicking OK, takes me back to my layout and my picture. And so I can zoom in on the photo just like every other photo panel. And maybe this isn't the best picture for doing this. Zooming out, I can move around. And I can even tilt or resize my picture. So I can continue to use this just like every other photo, whereas prior to Artisan 5, uh, you weren't able to do that. You had to flatten your photo in order to use it. The other thing I really like is using the format ribbon and working with shadows. If I use the default light or heavy, I tend to be heavy. Sometimes with the masks, you can see even more details. And then the custom shadowing, I again, I like to use heavy and just maybe change my shadow directions. So I really do encourage you to explore with Artisan 5, some really great new features came along with it, including these masking features. Hopefully this has helped you. I'm Karen Fitting with Photos Kept Alive.